So today we're going to be checking out the Fafine V3 capture card. We're going to see how it stacks up and what kind of quality you can expect from this price point. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Beatwalker and welcome back to another video. So before I get started with the review and overview of this capture card, I just want to give a shout out to Fafine products that they've been coming out with. So here I am recording on I'm recording on the Fafine AM8. So just so you know, I will drop links to all the products you see in this video down below. So let's get into it. So before we get into the nitty gritty on what you're gonna expect from this, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick overview on the specs. The capture card right now comes at around 50 bucks at 52.99 on their site and is actually on sale on Amazon right now, which is a really good deal if you wanna pick this up. Again, I will have links to these down below. So taking a look at some of the features and specs with this, you do have a HDMI in which would come from uh, any of your sources. So you have an Xbox, PlayStation, and then you have a line in which you can use a microphone or you can use a iPad or any type of audio you wanna bring into that as well. And then you have a headset which we'll test in the video as well. And then of course it connects to your PC via USB-C 3. And then HDMI out, which will go to a monitor or TV. And then you also have a button here which changes the RGB lighting to various different colors. So here are some of the main specs that I wanna talk about. Of course the highest resolution you can go is 1080, 60 frames per second, which is more than enough to be able to stream on Twitch, YouTube, etc. Uh, especially if you're just getting started at this price point i mean you couldn't ask for a better resolution to stream from plus i think what people don't understand about streaming at a higher quality is it requires a lot more processing power and also it's not easily accessible for people to view at 4k 1440p 1080 is just a good standard to have across the board which is typically what I record in all my videos in for the most part. Now, as far as pass through goes, it can do 4K 30 frames per second, which would which would work if you are gaming at 4K. Uh, personally, I game at 1440p, so this will give you 60 frames per second as well as 30, and then 1080, you can actually pass through 120. Now we'll test some of these on the Xbox, PlayStation, see what that looks like. These are the specs on all the pass throughs. And I am really glad that at the very least you could do 4K, 1440 and 1080. A lot of capture cards skip 1440 for some reason, or I found them really hard to find when I was finding a capture card prior to this. It's a good resolution. I think a lot of people use it. So kudos to them for having that. All right, so taking a look at what it looks like in your streaming software. So it's, it's pretty much plug and play. So once you plug it in, you'll come into your streaming software, OBS, Streamlabs OBS, and you're gonna add a video capture device. So I have one here already set. So it's a Fafine capture card. Then once you select the Fafine video capture, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, you do have some custom resolutions that you can set. Uh, again, 1080p is a max and then FPS up to 60 so i always just select highest fps just to max out any fps depending on what game you're playing all right so now we're on the xbox and i'm going to go over some of the resolutions that we have available within xbox now depending on what monitor you're using so i'm using a 1440p max monitor so i don't have 4k to show you but i can show you that 1440p does work and of course, 1440p only goes up to 60 hertz. Now it doesn't give me the option for 120 here, which is a little weird. It doesn't even give it to me on 1080. Uh, but I do know it's there because when I unplug the monitor, I can see it. So I may have to play with some settings to get that, but it does have 1080p and then 720, but 1440, uh, I think for me, 60 hertz for most games unless you're competitive gaming should be okay we're gonna look at like um where's horizon here just to see you know how fluid it plays all right so i lowered down the audio a little bit so it's not overpowering but just from the game like this where it's you know 60 frames is the max 
we see the picks it up pretty well and the pass through seems to be working great as well um now i know that the whoa okay go ahead and pull there i know that some specific games have performance and whatever the case so i guess depending on what you're playing um you might need to make some adjustments yeah i think the quality looks pretty good in a game like this the so call of duty is one of those games where for the most part if you have 120 hertz you definitely want to be playing on 120 hertz so this could be one of those where you'd want to upgrade if you're gaming with call of duty most of the time um but if 60 frames is not terrible in basically when people record in 1080 60 that's what you're seeing on twitch you're never going to see 120 so it'd be pointless for me to show you what that looks like in game but pass to 1080 120 does work so if you're on that resolution this could be a good option for you but me personally i'm on 1440 120 and i think most people that play call of duty that's kind of like the ideal situation for console so just keep that all in mind all right so now we are on the playstation 5 so let's take a look at what options we have available here uh, video output so resolution of course we have 720 1080 up to 1440 so let's select 1080 and works fine now it does give us the 120 hertz output now it's a little bit different from xbox this is kind of like automatic so some games have it some games don't and then let's go to 1440 and we still have this option so again different from xbox where you have the selection from 120 to 60 hertz this is just an automatic thing where it'll be available for some games and some it won't one thing to keep in mind for playstation is your audio output only has one selection so in order to hear the game audio and any other audio coming from that playstation make sure you have hdmi tv selected um, then that's going to give you all the audio going to your capture device. Now you're going to want to use the headset input within the capture card to be able to hear the sound. The difference between the Xbox and PlayStation when it comes to audio is that you're not able to simultaneously have audio out to HDMI and headset like the Xbox does. I wish the PlayStation did that. I don't know why it doesn't 2025. Let's do an update, PlayStation, please. But in order to combat that for the microphone, um, you would just have to select like a USB mic if that's what you're using in order to talk in game or on the PlayStation. A little bit more difficult in, in terms of audio, but the video pretty much looks pretty good. We're going to FC 24 here and see if we could find a game to be able to show you. So yeah, I mean, the, the quality is really good on like a game like this where, you know, 60 hertz is, is what it maxes out to, so. And like I said, most games, you wouldn't be, um, most games wouldn't require too much in terms of, um, as far as recording goes. All right, so now we're taking a look at the extension on a PC. So let's take a look here at the display resolution. So it does go up to 4K, so we'll switch it there. And work. Now let's take a look at the advanced display. Now this will show 60 Hertz because I don't have it as a pass through right now. So depending on the monitor I had, um, it probably only limited to 30. So 4k does work. Let's try 1080 and see if that gets, or let's, <clears throat> let's try 1440. Okay. So that's 1440. Let's see if we get 
anything higher than 60 now we still get 60 which is fine so then we go back to 1080 resolution and in 1080 we do have up to 120 hertz here if you're pc gaming then you know the 120 hertz at 1080 might be really good for you all right so let's do some video comparisons now so last thing I want to go over is the headset input and the line input that you have available to you so this is the headset input as you could hear um, you know if you have a microphone headset then it should come through audio settings are a little bit off so the audio coming through from the game is really loud and the headsets really low so you can make some adjustments specifically like in specific games if you're really key on using your headset as a microphone so that option is there for you and then lastly the line in so that does work and it comes through like if you, have, you just have a phone or ipad with 3.5 millimeter output going into the line in you can hear your hear the music there which is really cool is you can actually hear the music uh, from the headset output as well so going to the line in out to the headset you can actually hear the music hear the game hear you know everybody talking through that headset and like I said with Xbox you wouldn't actually have to do this because you can hear both at the same time but in a PlayStation then you just be able to use a USB mic like I said before but yeah, some really cool additional options at this price point is definitely a good addition for this capture card. All right, so that was a comparison between the NZXT 4K, which is probably my favorite capture card that I've used in comparison to the Elgato stuff, which again is great. Um, but I found this one is just like the easy plug and play, uh, which is what I love. So with that being said, the Fafine v3 does hold up in terms of what it can offer for that 50 dollar price point or around 50 50 dollar price point i mean it has great pass-through options the quality is fantastic audio options that you have is, are fantastic so you really can't go wrong with uh you know a starter capture card like the fine v3 so again if you are interested links down below so thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions in regards to this capture card specifically or anything audio related be sure to let me know hop into my discord start a conversation as always be sure to like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one Later.